All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. So, I'm going to do this uh, top 10 lyricists of all time. Before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. YouTube is not paying me, so I do what I want. Okay. Top 10 lyricists of all time. Now, with this top 10 list, I am not going to include anyone that has passed away. I might reference them, but I'm not going to include anyone that passed away because it's not fair to everyone else. They are great in their own right. And that's that. And I'm going to mention some honorable mentions. So let's get into the honorable mentions. First honorable mention, the modal technique. Modal technique, great lyricist. Honorable mention, he deserves it. Very well deserved. I think that uh, he slept on and he's a great lyricist. And that's that. Vinny Paz, another great lyricist that slept on. I think that a lot of people don't really give Vinny Paz a chance, but it is what it is. But for me, he's an honorable mention. Farrell Monch. Farrell Monch is an honorable mention because I believe that there's other rappers that are better than him. But for some people, he might be in their top 10. He might be the greatest lyricist of all time. I heard people say that. But for me, he's an honorable mention. Redman. Redman. Although I don't really particularly like Redman, I can recognize that he's a great lyricist in his own right. He's different. I think when Redman first came out, Time for Some Action was very aggressive. So then everybody was Redman was one of those artists that everybody uh, seemed to gravitate towards, and they was waiting for his verse. Sticky Fingers. Another one of these great lyricists that should be an honorable mention from a classic group. I think that Sticky Fingers uh, was another rapper that a lot of people uh, waited for his verse to come on because they wanted to get hype, hype Sticky Fingers. And he has a classic album. Sorry. Method Man. Method Man to me is always going to be great. I think Method Man is a great lyricist. He has the ability to be even better, but I think that he stuck and stayed where he was at, where he was comfortable. And that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But Method Man. Killer Priest. Another honorable mention, classic group, classic uh, time period of rap. I remember one time I seen Killer Priest. He did a verse for like nine minutes straight. He rapped for nine. I mean, I never seen nothing like that. I think it was like the six or nine. I think it was nine minutes. But Killer Priest. Killer Priest is one of the greatest lyricists of all time. But he's an honorable mention. Andre 3000. I know a lot of people are gonna feel some type of way. Oh, how's he on a mention? He's not in your top ten. Oh man, Andre Three Thousand is a great lyricist, and he's in my honorable mention. I think that I hear other people that I resonate more with, and I think that they're a little better than him. But he's nice, and he's one of the greatest. But he's an honorable mention. And last but not least. Rakim. Rakim is another one of these lyricists that the only reason why Rakim is where he's at in the honorable mentions because he hasn't done anything lately. But Rakim has classic records and he was so ahead of his time. There was no one rapping like him. There no one who was spitting lyrics like him. The way he bent words and twist words and rapped to the melody, nobody. So Rakim honorable mention all right so with those out the way 
let's get into the top 10. And I'm going to get into the top 10 and tell you how I feel about these people. So the first person, I think, is one of these rappers that is, at the time, he was so far ahead of his predecessors, I think that a lot of people was very scared of this dude. And I think that lyrically, he was untouchable. Untouchable at the time when he was out. Not too many people can keep up with him. And that's Cannabis. Cannabis is number 10. And a lot of people, some of the verses that Cannabis did back in the early 90s I don't think that there's no verse that's even better than that today I don't think that there's verses that can touch some of those verses the Cannabis versus DMX mixtape is by far probably the best mixtape of all time that is probably the best mixtape I've heard because that was a mixtape and they were going back and forth Cannabis slaughtered beats back then he was so far ahead of people that people were afraid to get on the beat with him because they were afraid what he can do and he's probably the reason why a lot of people rap the way they rap now he was so aggressive and I think that a lot of people didn't know how to take that like he has some of the verses like you can put them on now and people will spit him like they like he just said it like I ain't even gonna go through it. Well, anyway, I was just gonna spit one of his verses, but now. So, Cannabis is number 10. Number 9, Jizza. Okay, so Jizza is number 9. The Jizza, to me, is a subliminal rapper who was talking a lot about things back then that a lot of people were afraid to speak on. You know what I'm saying? He did a lot of things that people didn't understand where he was coming from. Classic album under his belt. I think that he uh, was probably the best lyricist in the Wu-Tang to me. I think that in the Nine Gambinos, I think he was the best. And a lot of people recognize that Jizz is such a good lyricist that... uh he made beats sound better and his and his his voice his lyrics over a lot of those beats that was created by you know by the rizza and all of them back then man it it, it sound like a like like a a horror show like a, a, a excellent horror show excellent horror movie but just number nine number eight might surprise a lot of people but this guy, he's been doing it for 20 years. And to me, he's been consistent for 20 years. And now he's starting to get recognized. Now people are starting to understand. He is the best street poetic rapper of all time to me. The best. There's no one better than him. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? As far as this guy can say things and he can take you down a rabbit hole with certain things he says that will push you here put you here put you here you listen to some of his lyrics and you be like wow he does that and that's ransom ransom is my number eight lyricist of all time i think that uh Nowadays, he is leaving his mark. I don't know how long he's going to be doing music, but he's at his peak right now, and I think he's only getting better. And it's crazy. It's crazy. But he's my number eight. My number seven, Joe Buttons. Now, I'm like a lot, a lot of y'all wondering why I said Joe Buttons so fast, because I have a lot to say about Joe Buttons. Joe Buttons is easily the greatest emo lyricist of all time. And I know some people probably be like, 
Oh, what about Tupac? How is Tup you 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 put him over you put him over Tupac? You put him over Tupac? How is that? To me, Joe Buttons have more music that resonates with me than Tupac when it comes to emotional music lyrics. I feel connected. I never did drugs in my life. Never. But Joe Buttons made me feel his pain. That's how good he is of a lyricist. Very good lyricist. And the thing about Joe Buttons is he can do different type of rap and still be lyrical. Joe, I seen Joe Buttons one time write a rap and spit it right there like he wrote it three weeks ago. Unreal. Phenomenal lyricist. Joe Buttons. My number six. Now, this guy, to me, I have two people at my number six. And it's a tie. And the reason why I have this other guy in my number six, because I, I couldn't decide whether I, I can put one over the other, because these two guys is a tie to me. And a lot of people probably gonna be like, well, how is that? How did you bring? Because I feel as though they're a tie. And I'm going to name one, then I'm going to name the other. So the first person, um, I think, is a phenomenal lyricist. I'm not really a fan of his, but he's a great lyricist to the point where I'm not a fan, but I like some of his music. And he has a classic on this belt to me. That's Lupe Fiasco. Lupe Fiasco, to me, is one of the greatest lyricists of all time. And the other guy I'm going to mention is just like him, but I think I like his music a little better. They're about the same to me. They'll tie. So I had to put them in it. The other guy, Talib Kweli. Talib Kweli and Lupe is on the same level to me when it comes to lyrics. I think they're one and the same. But I think that Talib may be a little more, uh, how would I say, clearer than Lupe. But Lupe has, Lupe has layers. And a lot of things Lupe does... I guess but Tyler Carly and Lupe number six number five okay so number five I'm gonna start out by saying these are interchangeable the other ones not but number five four three two one is interchangeable for anybody but for me today these are my number fives and this guy doesn't need no introduction and he's number five because I don't think he is as good as he used to be but he's still far ahead of a lot of people I think he just on autopilot right now I should say but he's still good but he has too many too many classics under his belt and his messaging was like no other. I think he's the best storyteller of all time. And some things he said was very vivid. And that's Nas. Nas is number five. I think that uh, Nas isn't as good as he used to be. But that's not saying too much because he still is good. He still is good or better than most lyricists now. So, nah, it's number five. Number four. All right. 
This guy is like a comet who hit Earth. And he is such a diverse artist that lyrically, you forget how good lyrical he is, like how, how, how good of a lyricist he is. You forget. But at the same time, you have to be a great lyricist to do what he does. This guy has released four projects, and I'm going to say four. Four projects that actually don't sound nothing alike. Not one of them. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is my number four of hip-hop artist, rapper, lyricist of all time. Now, I'm going to say this. Kendrick Lamar is the greatest rapper of all time to me. He's the greatest of all time. If I had to balance it out, he would be the greatest. If I had to say who's the greatest lyricist, he's not the greatest lyricist. But that's not saying much because he's in the top four <laughs> of lyricists of all time. So I think that Kendrick Lamar could be the greatest lyricist of all time. And that's the thing. So, Kendrick Lamar, my number four. Only artist that I know that put out four albums that don't sound nothing alike. That's how good that guy is. Number three. All right, so number three uh, is another guy to me that he only gets better and better and better and better and I don't think too many people um, can keep up with this guy lyrically I think he's amazing lyrically <sighs> Black Thought Black Thought had one of the greatest freestyles that I ever heard in my life from any rapper I think it was like 15 minutes long or something like that first of all to rap that long nine minutes or something to rap that long is like come on black thought has released a couple of projects and you can tell that this guy really takes his lyrics seriously there's not one thing i can say about black thought that's like okay i don't know about that but it's he's i put it to you like this black thought is every conscious rapper rolled into one to me he's every conscious rapper rolled into one to me i think he's far better than a lot of conscious rappers and i think that i can compare him to other people well i can compare people to him but i can't compare him to other people i should say so black thought black thought and I would have put a uh, comment in my honorable mentions but I don't know I don't know maybe that was a mistake on my part but common should have been an honorable mention now that I think about it but it is what it is so common is an honorable mention number two Eminem. Ah, man, I tell you. Eminem. One of those rappers that says things that you wish you can say. Does things that you wish you can do. Smokes everybody. Very, very good on all fronts from emo to lyrics to rapping to rapidy rap to boom bat anything freestyle anything he is the embodiment of lyricism i think that eminem is if there was a picture of lyricists say what lyricists look like 
it'll be Eminem. It'll be Eminem. He's he is lyricism. Period. So he's number two. And number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Okay, so number one for me is Eminem, the black version. <laughs> well, I would say, I'm not going to say he's the black version. I'm going to say he's his own person. Royce the 5'9". Royce the 5'9 is the greatest lyricist of all time. Period. I remember one time I used to hate on Royce. I used to be like, there's no way. No, he, he's not that good. No, he's not. Listen. Royce the 5'9 does things that only I believe Eminem can do. I don't think too many people takes the time out to do with the things that he does. He's so good with lyrics. He can pick apart things, put things together, place words here, do this, do that. He can rap about whatever. I seen Royce rap about rapidly rap stuff, then turn around, rap about street shit, then turn around, rap about emo shit, then turn around, and rap about his family, then turn around, rap about his wife, then turn around, rap about his kids. I seen him do it. Not too many people can do that. I'll go as far as saying he's the only rapper outside of Eminem and Kendrick that's not lazy. I'm going to repeat that. Outside of Eminem and Kendrick, Royce the 5'9 is not lazy with creativity. He's not lazy. He tries to create every time. I look at Royce like a mad scientist. Like he's he's uh, uh, creating a Frankenstein. Every time he does a verse, he's creating a Frankenstein. Every time. That's phenomenal to me because that lets me know that he takes his craft very serious and he's not just out here just, oh, well, let me just throw a verse on it. No, let me see how I can make this verse different from all the thousands of verses I done did. Let me see if I can make it different. And to me, that is what makes him one of the, if not the greatest lyricist of all time. Greatest, number one. Because he takes his time out to be better. And again, they, we talk about a rapper who's been doing this for 20-something years. And I have not, have not got tired of listening to him. Every time I listen to Royce, I feel like it's something new. So... But that's my top 10 right there. Um, other honorable mentions I should throw in there real quick. Uh, Crooked Eye, honorable mention, and a couple other people. But uh, that's my top 10, man. And I don't think it's going to change for a long time. But it is what it is. Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up if you like the content. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. You know what it is. I'm going to take my ass to bed because I'm tired. See ya.